feelings on 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 the streaming? What's your feelings on streaming? I think it is a systemic tool. And it's also an independent tool. I think streaming is free game for everyone. Like if you could build your catalog enough to where people were streaming it and that brings you you in your paper, you won the game. You may never need to sign unless you want to be a star. You know, like that's the only difference. It's like independence. I think you still be a star because I feel like I'm getting to that point. But for so long, like, you know, you could go straight into the majors and be a star. Right. Even without an album. Right. Like independently, you can't be a star without no album. Right. You go major, you could not have album and you could be a star. Like niggas could start building you and working you to a point where niggas like you could be a star right. without any of the shit you used to have to be. But but for your music, all the work you've put in, you know, all the time you put in. You you had no say so in what you are pay, being paid for a stream. Yeah, they just set a price due to market value after setting the price with the labels. I'm not mad at it because I used to make zero dollars at first. But once that set, that I don't think that's a good reason to say. So listen, they pay me a fraction of a cent, right? And listen, because I was I used to be like, fuck these niggas. I I did the same shit, and now I'm like, bro, no. I think these listen, are healthy conversation. If I built a platform, right, and this platform generates this much money a month through music, and people pay me. Ten dollars every single month. They pay me ten dollars because I built this infrastructure for them to consume the music that they stream from you. When they stream the music, I pay you, right? So if they pay me ten dollars and this month I made a billion dollars off my infrastructure and off your music, and they only played your song a hundred times out of all that money that was made from all these different artists, what percentage of that should you get? Whatever it adds up to, it'll be a fraction of a fucking cent. If I made $10 billion and you and the right. amount yeah, that your nah, shit generated yeah, only yeah, contributed yeah, yeah. this much, yeah. what percentage would that be? Right. It's like, nigga, it, it, when you do the math. But there's like, a number, though. See, here's the thing, right? Because Universal them went into the to that room with a number that spoke to market share. Mm-hmm. To say, yo, we own, we got Drake, we got this, we got all these different catalogs. And, yeah, you're making money, but... It's like if you're selling Kool-Aid, but I got the sugar. You know what I'm saying? They coming to you for Kool-Aid, but not bitter Kool-Aid. They ain't just coming to you for any old song. You get the audience there by having these certain See, artists there. But I now, feel like... But hold on. This speaks to how I know this is because when Apple and all of them first started, they were giving them exclusive deals to try to build that audience over there. And Spotify was like, yo, just come out here for two days. And then go everywhere, but they was trying to pillage the audience. So what do you say to what do you say to because it has Man, to listen, be a number. It listen, has to be it listen. has to be a number that represents <laughs> Listen. It. Streaming is so fair that it's streaming the, is fair. Listen, listen to me. This is the only job in the world where you can make the same amount as Drake. His stream and your stream nah, worth the same amount no, only, of money. Only you think that. No. His stream and your stream is worth the same amount of no, money. No, they've got good with the with the with the with the propaganda. <laughs> See, right? Drake gets more. I think Drake. I think Drake deal for streaming services are different from an overarching perspective. Listen, I think it's represented listen, on, on me Universal finish, Let me finish because you go ahead. Listen, go ahead. Let's so, talk. Let's take Drake out. Okay, you make the same amount as money if you made a song today and uploaded it to TuneCore Distro Kid. You would make the same amount per stream that Chance the Rapper makes. Yes. How does that work? You don't go to no fucking job and make the same amount as the nigga who already did it and accomplished it. But here it's like. Everybody getting the same amount. Yeah, because everybody only getting you get more is if you do more. You feel me? So it's like, where, where, where it's because everybody getting fucked. <laughs> it ain't because this is no hell of a thing or how, that is though? fair. See, they listen. They, they, no, no one can explain how. And because, I used to be on the same side until I started building infrastructure and building things that's of use to people and utilization. And like, 
What am I supposed to get for building all this? And then after I pay, after I get that and I give you yours, what is your percentage supposed You're to be like? How yourself. much are we supposed to be paid? You're underplaying yourself because no, you built be. it on your back. <laughs> Apple built it on our back. It's different. You built it on your back. Apple, mm. Spotify built it on hip hop's back. Mm. They were giving exclusive deals only to hip hop. Yep. Saying, hey, we need the audience here, bro. But how much am I supposed to pay you for that? I think that it should be more than a fraction of a cent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, I can't give you a, a, a number because I know that it's, it gets wicked. Right. When you get into even the terms and deals of contracts, when you get into the point point one zero, oh man, this done got slippery. I like whole numbers in one sheet. But you know what's crazy is like that's how deep the math get when the math gets that big. Like to us, the math don't get that deep because our math don't get that big. But I look at Kanye. But when you when you in a when it's billions and trillions. The math get it goes all the way down to but Kanye say they do that to trick you. Kanye say, yo, I'm in here. I'm in here with Adidas. They're doing this to trick you. All this don't got to be all these numbers and fudging of all of this is a game. So I'm saying I can only trust the people that, like we said, has participated. I'm watching and listening and reading the books and grabbing information. And, and that's the thing. Um, none of us have full insight. So we're just highly opinionated. Right. And until we get a nigga who's in there, a Daniel Eck from Spotify and a nigga like me and you and a this from Apple and we like have this type Come. of conversation, we lost. But again, I want to practice what I preach in the same way I said with D1. I want to just give it to the world and hopefully it penetrates somewhere they had a com they call us in. Yo man, that conversation was so deep. See, but sometimes it's like like with D1, when you go straight to the world, Sometimes a nigga take that as like, bro, I don't even want to talk to you. And that's how Ross and them tree, they start calling them Buckethead and yeah, shit. You feel yeah, me? He called them personally. We're talking about an infrastructure in which we participate in at a high level. Right. And we got children we're leaving this game to. Yeah. We got young black men we're leaving this right? game and, to. And I'm, no, I, I really think. I don't even think they're closed off to the conversation. I think the conversation just hasn't. It hasn't came in. Remember we was talking earlier how mm -hmm. that shit, how it gets to a nigga right. in terms if a nigga want to do it or right. not. So it's like, and I don't think, I don't like think it's out good. of scope or out of reach. Right. I think it's in the very near future. It's just like you need certain people to have that conversation and you need someone. I was watching Clarence Avant doc and he said they was in this big ass meeting and all the labels and shit. And they said, who is Clarence representing? And they was like, Clarence is here for everybody. He's representing everyone because He's the, he's the nigga who's like, bro, I'm not for this. I'm not against this. I don't feel like you fucking me. I don't feel like I'm fucking you. I'm asking from a point of neutrality. And until we can get there, it's just not going to be a conversation that can be made because they not going to sit there with a nigga yelling, talking about nigga, but this, they ain't going to do it. You feel me? They want to have a real conversation. Yeah, like we're having, though. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. You got to be able to, and like we spoke on earlier, there's only a few people in the space period that can even have That's these kind of And I was just about to say, I was going to ask you, and what rapper do you think, who who would you nominate to be able to have that conversation publicly where we could all get a, a grander understanding Me, of that? you, someone from Spotify, someone from Apple, uh, another rapper, let's think. Let's think. You feel me? I got some execs, <laughs> maybe, but, but I don't, I mean, you. I don't, who... Y'all got anybody, any rappers y'all think? I don't know. For it to have the impact it needs to have, it's like it has to be somebody directly impacted who feel how we feel. Right. If the other nigga, if a nigga just like, nigga, I'm happy. I was making zero, now I make billions. Right. Bro, I don't know what's going on. Like I say, some niggas don't care, and you can't knock them for not caring. Right. Now, here's my thing, right? I also look at the end of the year wrap-up. Mm. They don't post what it makes the label. <laughs> they post... For the artist to post, the label don't, the label, see, there's a, something's happening, man. There's something going on with these numbers. And I guarantee you that, especially for the one percenters, like the Drakes, the Kanye's, they can like really see their audience in a way where it's like, even you, somebody that can see the impact of their audience, like right. put a post up, yo, shoot, shoot me an offer and clear another 30 grand in the city or something. You know what I'm saying? Those guys have a responsibility to dig a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, just to sit, dig see, around. But that's our entitlement. 
How? When we because participating. You can't, you can't place responsibility on another man. What responsibility? Like you, just, like you said, they have a responsibility to do whatever we expect of them. Because I'd be on both ends. I'd be like, nigga, you, you have to. But they don't, bro. And, I, that's and the, I'm talking about, so, so you don't think that, you don't think that for the sake of preserving our culture that the people should feel like, yo, I'm in the top of this game. I need to seek some. You think we feel entitled what? for asking for that? We are entitled for asking for it. And so no you have to, you really, man, the only way to combat it is to build a culture that you don't have to question that about, you know, because it's like, We've empowered questionable people who have questionable actions, and we like, why aren't you doing nothing? It's like, is this the nigga you expecting to do it? This, this one. This is the guy. We not, bro. Them niggas ain't them niggas. Right. Them niggas ain't them niggas. So you just you looking at a black nigga in. and you like, why you not speaking Spanish? Right. Stop playing. Yeah. Them niggas ain't them niggas. Yeah. It takes certain kind of niggas to have them conversations and to do them things. That's them revolutionary actions. <laughs> A million plays, thirty five hundred dollars. <laughs> That's deep. Right. But thanks for watching this clip from its up there podcast. To see the rest of the interview, click one of the boxes on the screen. Also join Discord and Patreon to be in our community.